Okay, this is the next thing on the script. She's uh, it gets cold as soon as the sun goes behind it. That huge tree right there. Anyway, so here we've done. We we test the fuel injector across the battery terminal. We made that determination that it works. Okay, so now we're going to run a fuel line to the fuel injector right here. So I have this part right here. And here's uh, the, the hose clamps. And then this is the game plan. I have two different ways to be able to pressurize this. I'm going to, if I, um, typically these need about between 40 and 70 pounds to operate. This is a generic or rebuilt one. So I can use my CO2 to pressurize the end of this, you know, which on this first test, I want to see how the spray looks too. That would be kind of cool. I've never seen it one of these actually spray so what what the script is saying here is adjust the fuel pressure okay we can do that partially fill the line with gasoline I got the gasoline over there and I got a bucket to let it squirt into then um, then we'll test it across the battery then since we know the output of the HEI is working, the next element that will be tested will be how, you know, I could use a voltmeter, but that's irrelevant to what my need is. You know, the voltmeter could show, you know, an EMF, but if it doesn't drive the fuel injector, it's not doing what it needs to. So we actually have to connect this on the output of the uh, coil. So that's what we're going to be doing. All right, so I'm going to connect the hose. See, it's a bummer, kind of, because it got these, like, labyrinths, you know, the connectors right there. And I need a good seal right around here at 70 pounds. So that's going to put... That's going to put the clamp. I need the clamp to be between the zero and the one on the hose. That should close around there. That's a nice fit. Yeah. That's kind of why this uh, this plug is uh, notched out so you can get a hose on there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we're between the zero and the one. Okay, that should be on there. I don't have to, I shouldn't have, it was a pretty good fit, so I don't need to really, I'll let the pressurization determine that. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. Now, I need to make some kind of a adapter here so I can plug it into the, my CO2 bottle. So, you know where this is from.
Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, use this line Okay, so this looks pretty good. I might be able to just, that's pretty close. You know, what we could do is, uh, you know, clamp this on there, throw, a, we call it a jet, but, you know, other places don't, you know, jet clamp it. So, then that would make it easy for me to put some regulated pressure on there. So it'd be nice to have this as a quick disconnect. So if I made this a quick disconnect, so if I put this on here, oh, I want it would be nice to have this as a check valve. Let's see here. Okay, so this is my intent. We'll see how that works out. Let me put a little um, Teflon on this. If anything, that'll make it really slide out. clamp and uh, okay now what I'm doing here is by using this because I've got gasoline in here I don't want it to you know when we depressurize it so this will always have kind of like pressure on it until I relieve it so um, in that context, what we're going to do is we're going to slide that all the way up there. I'm pretty sure that's going to handle the pressure. I'll just tighten that up in a little bit. a little crescent wrench better.
Okay, so uh, now this is what we have. So this part of it is going to go right here. We will tape that up and get that all ready. So then we can go. This hand is so weak. Oh well, there we go. Quit bitching. All right, so um, now the uh, I got to get the um, CO2. Okay, so the, I got my uh, bottle here, CO2. This is what we're going to use to pressurize this with. So we're going to walk into it, but to, these, this usually has about 700 pounds. It's been kind of cold, so it might be 600, which, yeah, it's probably five or 600. So the reason I use this is because it's uh, liquid and after it goes through a phase change it's approximately 1100 to one so it's quiet you don't hear an air compressor or anything like that so i um back this out so when uh, we connect this up we'll walk into it uh, once we hook it up to this we'll walk into it and um, see what happens when we um Put it across the battery that'll be the first thing we need to get a container for the gas so that's what we're going to be doing here so i got to finish putting the this piece together and then we'll be able to pressurize that Okay, so this is how this is going to work is is that when things get disconnected all right the uh, you got to disconnect this one first otherwise it def this doesn't work for us all right so I'm just going to put some pressure in there and then we're going to see if we can hear anything come out of the fuel injector Okay, so we're going to be, I'm going to 
maybe put 30 pounds on it. I don't have anything taped or anything, but I don't hear any leaking yet. Okay, so there's some leaking, so I'm going to tighten these up and then we'll come back to it.